got 3d graphics going right now that should be done um probably middle of year 45 or so not sure looks like they've all finished up their training we finally got that graphics guy and all go on vacation now and i'm not really sure what to do when you guys get back is there anything else we can research ourselves 2d graphics yeah i guess new topics why not why not everyone's going right yeah okay they're all they're all settled Hardware Labs doing okay with its, uh, backlog. It peaks every once in a while at five, but I think that's normal. And that's just however much money you put into it is how quickly it drops the backlog. Looks like I'd probably even drop it to like 500k-ish. Let's go 490. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Right, everybody's back. Uh... Research. New topic. Let's just get these going here. Because I'm waiting for that 3D graphics to finish up. Transport. Why not? Prison. Why not? Oh. Airplane. Vampire. Law. Wild West. Ooh. I could do a Wild West thing. The Wild West MMO horror? Hmm. Whoops. I hate that. Sometimes, like, you click on a guy, but it doesn't quite click them. It clicks, like, through them. Uh, comedy? Law Vampire Airplane? We can go Vampire. Why not? Oh, ah, there we go. It's lagging a bit. Not sure why. Just keep doing research. Eh. Uh, yay, there it goes. It's really struggling for some reason. Too much going on, I guess. Why are you doing that? It's just this main screen. It's acting like that. I guess there's just so much going on. Hmm. Ooh, martial arts. Could probably handle something like that, too. Cyberpunk. Spending all of my research points doing this. I think that'll be fine. We're going to be making a new engine with the newest graphics setting anyway, so... Not really concerned about it. Yeah, this game does not like when you research this many topics at once. Surgery? Oh, surgery sim, maybe? That'd be... That'd be... That'd be odd. Detective. I saw Ninja there, too. It's kind of neat how it randomizes the whole topic thing, but sometimes you do get screwed over. You get really, really poopy topics. Fuck it, just spend a million on the game convention. Why not? Who cares? We pretty much bleed money at this point in time. Evolution. And the last one. Whoops. No, you're, you're good. You're good with training. Fashion. Good stuff. 3D graphics version 7, almost done. Can you get the nice... Yes, you can. Nice. And then I think that'll be well, almost everybody with a nice boost. There we go. Yeah! Everybody's got times 3 boost. And we did... We have done it, our research was successful, and we should be able to support our concepts for the ultimate graphics technology in our next game engine. This will be a revolution. This will be a revolution for the gaming industry. <sighs> still can't read. I've been doing this for like a year and a half now. Still can't read. That's fine. It's fine. Curious if we're going to hit 2 million. Yep, yep. 2.2 million almost. Dang. That's definitely number one. Thank you. And I suppose cut funding to the R&D lab because I don't think there's anything they can do for us anymore. Uh, start project. I think just our own convention. Yeah. Yeah. Probably cut it completely, to be honest. Yeah, probably. And let us research. 
No, not research. Let us develop a new engine. Ultimate Yeti! I don't know. It's got everything. Oh yeah. Let's take off version 5, just leave it version 6, version 7, or just straight up version 7. I think I'd probably just leave up, like, straight up version 7, I think that'd be fine. Maybe throw up, like, version 3 for the small, medium games, but I'm not going to be doing those kinds of games anymore. Plus, we got a graphics guy who can handle the awesome graphics, he'll be fine. And get rid of mono sound. I don't really know why I'm trying to cut corners here with this engine, it's only 5 million with everything I've got. Ah, screw it. Ultimate Yeti, go! Uh, boost through it? Nah, better not. I'd like to see if I can squeeze out a triple A here. Everybody will have times three boost for it, it'll be good. Or really bad, it's hard to tell. Not sure what kind of MMO I'm gonna be making, though. We'll see. I'm thinking action games are especially popular. Maybe like a Western action then or something. Maybe. Maybe I should have boosted. Well, we're almost done now. We're within a thousand. Game of Life is just draining our coffers. How much is it though? Oh, barely any. It's not much at all. Our maintenance is rising up to 1.5 million, but we're selling like a million every week. Not to mention Grid is going still from forever ago. The Yeti box profiting a little bit. That'll be cool. We're going to be making a new uh, console though, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can pull it off. License game engines. Okay, let's try license game engines. We have a lot of experience in creating custom game engines. Why not sub-license our engines to other developers? Not only will this cement our market position as a technology leader, but it will also help offset the growing costs of developing engines. Sure, just to say I did it. There you go, 2.6 million. Enjoy that. Right, that engine's done, so develop console. Max out that QA. What do we got? Oh my god, it's a... What is that? I don't even know what that is. I like it though. Yeti cube. Ulti... Ultimate Yeti! Same as our engine. With two exclamation marks. That's how you know it's serious. Support version 7 graphics and stereoscopic 3D. Yes. Support multiplayer. Oh, nope. Online play. Sorry. And advanced physics. All that stuff. Support surround sound. Sure. There we go. 144 million. Ah, that's nothing. <clears throat> Jesus. Go crazy. Go, uh... Go ham on it, as I think the kids say nowadays. I don't know. Is that what kids are saying? Well, while we're sitting here just twiddling our thumbs, let's, uh... Let's make a new just large game, though. For everyone. Let's go with the Surgery Simulator. Simulation. Casual Sim? I think maybe that, that'd work. For for the Yeti box, yeah, the Yeti box would be fine. Uh, OMG MMO, I think would be fine. Yeah! Surgeon, surgeon, yeah! I think I spelled it right! Yay! Let's just, uh, let's just go simulation, that's fine. Surgery simulation for the Yeti box, OMG MMO, large for everyone, surgeon, surgeon, spelled probably right. Go for it. Awesome 3D graphics. Oh, text-based! No. 
I almost want to, just to say I did text-based games in year 46. The current year is like year like 2021, and I'm doing text-based RPGs. That'd be great. Engine is Ben. Yes. Samantha is gameplay. Yes. Drew is story quests. Yes. Don't really need many story quests. Definitely need gameplay and a good bit of engine, I would think. Let's see what we've got here. Full motion video would be kind of cool. Let's face it though, moral choices, kill them or let them live. There we go, give it a little more of a boost so it's 100%. That's good. Engine, save game, yes. Video playback, online play, saved cloud mod support, advanced physics. Mmm, I don't know if we can pull off all that. Let's take out the video playback. Online play is huge. How about save to cloud? Or mod support and save game. And give it just a bit more. There we go. What do we got for gameplay though? Mouse, joystick. I think we... No, just gamepad. Co-op play? No way I'm pulling that off. We can go with uh, character progression though. Fuck it, throw on the features. Why not? Why not? That's that's good, I think. All right, so we got Ben, Sam, Drew. Oh God, they're already stressing. Why is this? Uh, Ben, Sam, just go now. It's fine. Uh, and Drew. It's times three, and it's only a medium game, large game. I forgot. I think I did large. I think it's large. Oh yeah, they can boost and then some. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I want none of this. None of this appeals to me in a surgeon sim. Maybe advanced body, realistic body language. How's that? For dialogues. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know. <sighs> no Easter eggs and no mini games. It's surgery. A dynamic environment? Yeah. Level editor? Make up your own operation and stuff. That'd be neat, but I can't really afford to keep that in. So we're going to have to cut it. And then AI? Self learning AI? No. AI companions and better AI? Sure. 99%, 96%, dialogues, 92%, ooh. There you go, 95%, 94%, 90... There we go, 95, 95, 96, good enough. Good for me anyway. Bradley on AI, Aiden on level design should be fine. We don't have a level design guy. Aiden's a graphics guy though, oh shit. We're gonna need him on uh, on graphics though. It's a thing. I don't think world design will be too huge. So, oh god. All right, take off sound. Uh, oh Jesus. Okay, this is a pain. Level design is a weak link here in this company. Oh well. And dialogues. We don't have a dialogues guy either. The AI guy on it? That'd be fine. I think that'll be okay. What if uh, Warden does that? No, not quite. Okay. Reverse it. Uh, Bradley, then Warden. Got it. Uh, 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 uh. And it's kind of going. There we go. All right. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh well, it's probably just my computer melting. Although its usage is only 40%, so I really don't understand it. <sighs> Maybe it's a memory leak, who knows. I'm sure it'll crash in a minute. Uh, right, sound we can't really focus much on at all. So just straight up stereo sound. Maybe a soundtrack. Okay, stereo sound. How about just surround sound? We could probably do that. World design. No, 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 no. Right. We'll, um... We'll see about that. Well, then again, if it's 100%, I mean, I can handle pretty much 
I can handle that. Well, mostly. Take off Rich Backstory because we're going to have to add a lot to graphics. Not Warden. Aiden. Boom. There we go. Can't do stereoscopic 3D. But. Ah, there we go. And if we cut just. Oh. Alright, take off open world and drop world design just a hair. 95%, 93%, 96%. Uh oh. Pixel perfect, 95, 95, 96, it's good! I'm okay with this. And then Warden on sound, yeah, but at the same time. Ah, man, poor dude. Alright, stereo sound. Cut it, there we go. That's fine. Yeti, Aiden, Warden. Yeti. And then Aiden. Meh. It's time three, so it pretty much lasts the entire, uh... Blah. The entire stage. Large booth, why not? Didn't we just have game convention? These years are flying by, and there's some massive bubbles flying up there. Not sure if you saw them or not. There were like 18, I think, was one of them. Pretty scary. Everybody's needing a vacation again. Oh, no strong tr Ah, I forgot the trend for action. I could have done a Wild West action game, but I think that might be our MMO for our amazing, awesome new console that is actually taking a decade to finish. Oh, man. Surgeon, surgeon, yeah! Come on, people. Didn't I click already? There it goes. You click and it goes faster. I thought I already clicked. Two and a quarter million, though. Not bad. Hey, number one again. Ha, oh, surprise. And almost. Ah, got it. Oh my god, we're losing money on Game of Life. Holy crap, new topic, new combo, great combo! 3D Graphics version 6 leveled up, not like it does anything. Bradley hit level 10. Congrats, Bradley. You've unlocked the ability to get a talent. Not really. And those reviews came in crazy quick. How was it? Nice experience from Star Games, giving it a 7, a 7 from Informed Gamer calling it enjoyable, an 8 from Game Hero saying they love it, and a 6 from all games, they just like it. They're not even trying with these reviews anymore, they're just like, eh, it's cool. It's an okay game. Tolerable. Good. It plays. Over 500,000 in sales, yeah! Well done, you only have 1.5 million fans. Jeez. I expect to sell like a million in the first month. Hey, there you go, it's almost 2 million in week 2. That's about right. Sun on vacation, sun on vacation. There we go. Probably could have trained with them too. I haven't done training in a little bit. Guess just straight up game design course, why not? Boost when you can. Software development kit. Uh, whoops. Hold on. Hold on. Get over there. Boost through the training. Stop with the clicking. Okay, what do you guys got going on here? Nothing. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. Wow, stuff. Lots of things happen all at the same time nowadays. Game of Life is costing us how much? Almost two million. Not bad. As I cringe. Software development kit. Hm. All right. Cool. I think. Do some contract work. Play test. Why not? Get it done. They should be able to handle it. Oh my god. Yeah. They did that crazy fast. Contracts aren't even a challenge anymore. Do they have AAA contracts? Is that a thing? I feel like the alien search or space shuttle kind of are sometimes. They expect you to do a whole lot. Hey, so for development kit. Is that a thing that I can like? Is that a thing I actually have to put into an engine? It is, of course it is, you fucker. Alright. 
Oh well. Custom engine. No. No, no, no. Contract work. That's what I wanted. What am I waiting for, though? I could just make another game. Let's just make another game. It'll be a triple A MMO. Why not? Because we got to get the game of life out of there. Pick topic. How about... Hmm. Hmm. Um, martial arts action. Could. But just horror adventure. A horror ad action adventure for the Yeti box. The OMG MMO. For a mature audience, would that be a good idea or a bad idea? I don't know. Hmm. Not sure. And not to infringe on any sort of copyrights out there, we'll call it forgetful. Uh, or Alzheimer's would work probably, but I forget how to spell Alzheimer's. A-L-Z-H-E-I-M-E-R-S? Maybe. I don't know. Yay, Surgeon Surgeon actually had a really short lifetime. My god, come on! LPRs, get it going! That's fine. I don't ever expect these games to last months and months anyway. How would I do an adventure action? Well, it's an adventure, so story quests. Gameplay, probably. Not so much engine. Moral choices, advanced... Wait, it's like a... This is a triple A, ain't it? We could probably just... Go borderline all out. With immersive storytelling. Take off moral choices, I think... I think we could do advanced cutscenes then. That's pretty dang close. Alright, engine. What, what can't we do? Okay, we, we can't do that. Uh, well, we got advanced physics, so take off basic physics. That should really just override it. Video playback. Wouldn't that be like a cutscene? Or a full motion video? Hmm. Not sure on that one. I got video playback and local saves. And mod support. And I want advanced physics. Alright, take off save to cloud, local saves only. Although I don't really know how that would make sense in an online game. Well, I guess I could see it. That'd be strange though for an MMO if you saved locally. It'd be very much hackable. Oh, well, power to you. Throw on mod support then. Online play, of course. Alright, engine needs some up. What do we got for gameplay? Pretty much everything. Take off the joystick and steering wheel. The mouse. Gamepad. Alright, take off skill trees. Throw these back on. Yeah, okay, that's right about there. Engine could use some more help. Ah, something like that. Okay, not quite that much. 95%, 95%, 94%. That's probably fine. Drew Story Quest, Samantha. Gameplay, Ben, Engine, good. Ben, Sam, Drew. Ben. And... Hey, almost 60 million from Surgeon Surgeon. All right. Go it. And then Aiden? No. Shit, who'd I do? What is the third one? There it is. Story quest, Drew. Got it. Got it. Probably level design. 
Maybe not much AI. I think this could be okay, actually, where it's at. Realistic body language, just celebrity voice acting. And a dialogue tree. And better dialogues. Alright, maybe not those. Cut dialogues just a little bit. There you go. Level design, level editor, Easter eggs of minigames. Why not? Self learning AI. Why not? Fuck it. Who cares? Just throw in these features. Just throw them on in. And dialogues needs help now. Uh, Alright, fine. 94, 95. 93. Alright, level design just one notch. 94, 94, 95. Okay, that'll be fine. Warden on the level design. Yeah, no, actually. I'd prefer not to have the sound or graphics guys on it because that's going to be pretty high up there. Which means world design. I guess I'll do it. And Bradley on dialogues. No, we really need a dialogues guy. Bradley's doing the AI, that's fine. Oh man! This request is already done, couldn't Drew? Alright, fine. We'll have Drew do it, but... Oh my gosh. To annihilate dialogues. Alright, no celebrity voice acting, just realistic body language. Good? I think that'll be fine. Okay. Right, that means that I'm pretty much boned then. Okay, so graphics and sound. What if we have you do it? Okay, no, how about you? That's even worse. God, we are boned. All right, level design, we need to take off some things here. Take off the mini games, Easter eggs, and level editor and cut it as much as we can. There we go. That means Drew's dialogues are right. Okay, so up that a bit. Wait, Bradley's stressed. Wrong way. Yeah. God. Okay, AI is good, level design is good, and dialogues is a little hurt, but that could be okay. Could be. I just increase it a notch. There we go. How's dialogues now? 94%. That's pretty good. Good. Pixel perfect. Ben is just freaking right the heck out, though. Forgot about him. We'll get it. We'll get it. Just hold on a minute. We're not going to be able to get good management, I don't think. You know what? I don't really care. I take off the dynamic environment, throw in Easter eggs, mini. Alright, just level editor and Easter eggs. Uh, I really want the no loading screen. Alright, Drew, Ben, Bradley. That'll be fine. Drew! Drew! Oh, you already went. Then. Oh, God, Ben already went. Oh, God! I feel like my team is bad for this type of game. Like, really bad. We don't really have many specialists in the, uh, the areas that we're focusing in, so... Everybody's kind of stressed. People are having to do two different things. Man, this game is like all AI. And now this. Well, looks good so far. Mostly. I want good sound, though. Oh, yeah. An orchestral soundtrack. Good deal. World design. Pile it on, I guess. Take off the virtual economy. That's just silly. In the open world, that's also... Well, no, it's an MMO. We want that. Can we cut graphics just a little bit? Yo oh, yeah. Cool. I think that'll be fine, actually. Can world design get a bit of a boost? At all?
Good, perfect, okay. I'm on world design, Aiden's on graphics. I think Aiden's been involved with every single one. No, no, there's no way he has, okay. It's just Ben and Drew, I think, were on two different things. That second stage was bad, because only one person could boost. And Warden on sound, that'll be fine. So, myself, Aiden, then Warden. You may as well use yours as well. Oops. Announce it! We are working on the ultimate Yeti with two exclamation marks. It's a successor to Yeti Box 2000, which was sizable and really made an impact. And sound, go. A little early for sound, but that's fine. Large booth, go. Actually losing a lot of money. This game should be pretty decent, though. It's over 2000 in design. Fix the bugs! Come on. Yeah, about the same as last year. It's fine. R&D lab. Cut to nothing. I don't need research points. How much are we losing on Game of Life? A lot. Yeah, we're losing like 1.5 million every week. Please hurry up and get those bugs out of here. Please, for the love of God, get rid of them faster. Spell check. Good, thank you. It's perfect. New topic, new combo. Gameplay leveled, 3D graphics version 6 leveled again, and Warden gets another raise. Uh, and we got a virtual reality headset available. Great. Let's do some contracts. Debug program, go for it. Oh, hopefully it's good. Uh, of course it's going to be absolute shit because people were not managed well. Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems to be how this game works. Is you're going to have that bad game after a while. Because I think at this point in game, it compares it to your previous games. And my previous games have been pretty kick-ass. 